Hello everybody and uh, this is a really informal video I'm making today to show you how you can make simple meals. This is what I teach in my seven day detox and reset program. Um, so I invite you to join us. I'm starting in about two weeks. All the information is on my website, which is plantemus.com, B-L-A-N-T-E-M-U-S.com under uh, live webinars. So let's look at this now. All right. So here I have one, um, one large onion that is chopped and about four or five garlic cloves also chopped and about half of a red bell pepper chopped and um, sometimes I don't use the bell pepper whatever I have that I that I want to use and this has been sauteing in a non-stick pan for about 20 minutes it's about you know you have to look and see when it's getting dark or uh, golden brown So this is kind of a base for you to, to eat your greens, which is crucial for, for, uh, for health in general, for satiety, for fiber, for water, for your cardiovascular health. And uh, to that, I am going to add um, about two cups of chopped mushrooms if you don't like mushrooms then don't add them sometimes i don't have mushrooms and i don't i don't add that like i said this is a, a very informal homemade video so you're gonna hear noises and from my house and my kitchen and so i'm gonna add a few just just a little bit of water because uh, this is called water sauteing. You use water only when needed, when it's getting a little bit stuck there, and a little bit on, so that way you, you're not getting boiled vegetables, but really saute. It's very easy to saute food uh, without oil, and oil, when it gets heated, um, it has a lot of free radicals, plus oil has a tremendous amount of empty calories that we don't need and all of those calories, 100% of them come from fat. And like Dr. McDougall says, and you all know, the fat you eat is the fat you wear. So we want to eliminate as much free fats as possible and eat the fats that come in the whole foods. So what else am I doing here? Well, what I'm gonna do here in a few minutes when the mushrooms are a little more cooked, is I'm going to add some uh, steamed chard. Okay, sometimes it is chard, sometimes it is kale, sometimes it is spinach, but one of those leafy greens are really good to eat uh, several times a day, and I always make enough of this mixture to last me a day or two. It can also be frozen, so that way you don't have to make it all the time. Then I add some, oh, I add some spices and they vary. One of the spices that I like to use almost always is smoked paprika. Not just regular paprika, it's very different. Okay, so this is smoked, that's about a tablespoon, okay? And um, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of dried parsley. That's about a teaspoon. I will also add um, a teaspoon of, or a little less actually, of coriander, because I have it here. And otherwise I would choose something else. And then thyme or oregano, another teaspoon 
And then um, I will add some tomatoes that the other day I went to the vegetable market and they had some tomatoes that they were selling at like half price. They were um, uh, Roma tomatoes. That's water that is boiling that noise, okay? Uh, Roman tomatoes and I um, I steam them, peel them, then put them in the food processor and then that's how I make my basic uh, tomatoes. Um, just basic tomato puree. And that's what I'm going to add here because this is going to be a very delicious tomato, uh, like a spaghetti sauce sort of thing because I'm going to add it to polenta, which is a wonderful starch made out of corn and very filling, comforting, delicious. I made that yesterday and I had some leftover and it gets hard like that. So what all you do if you have leftover polenta is you add hot water. I'm just going to add like half a cup of hot water and I will turn on the heat to, to low, very low, and because it's already cooked. So I'm just going to try to revive it <laughs> and make it creamy again. It's kind of like when you have leftover, um, leftover oats and then the next morning or then in a few hours when it's in the refrigerator, is, uh, it gets hard. All you have to do is add hot water and then it gets creamy and soft again. So again, I'm just making this very simple because I'm all about simple meals, very simple, like the ones I share with you during my seven day detox and reset program um, where we log in twice a day for seven days the groups, group support is awesome. Most of you have told me how the reason you have success finally is because of the group support, because we meet twice a day in the morning and then uh, for dinner time, and that keeps you uh, on track because we are all doing this together. Okay, so if you'd like to join my next seven day program, it's coming up the first uh, in about two weeks from now, okay, like January, middle of January. You can either send me an email and I'll send you the info, or you can, I put all of the details in my website at plantemus.com. P L A N T E M U S dot com. Go to live webinars and uh, and then you'll find it there. Okay. And I made it yesterday, so um, I'm just warming it up I and mean, I'm adding some water to make it creamy again. Polenta is delicious, especially when you eat it this way, which now. I'm going to add my chard to this mixture. That's about a bunch of start of um, chard. It's about a cup right here. And in this pan, non-stick pan, I have a large onion, four or five or six garlic cloves chopped, like half a red bell pepper chopped and I had sauteed it until it was nice and brown. And now I'm adding the chard, which is already cooked because it was lightly steamed. And I added some spices and the spices vary from time to time. So now I felt like eating some, having some Italian flavor. So I added parsley and um, thyme and coriander and smoked paprika, okay? 
and uh, I appreciate your comments. And if you have questions, write it in the comment. And later on, once I'm done with this video, uh, check back on this video and I will have answered your comments or questions. So um, what am I going to do now? This is cooked. I'm going to add this tomato to that. Okay, that's about two cups of tomatoes. I made my own, own uh, tomato sauce here. I just steamed some tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, and then I peeled them. Then I put them in my food processor and that's it. And I had frozen it. So now um, it's going to unfreeze here. It's gonna thaw. And that's going to be my sauce. It's delicious. That will go with my polenta here. This polenta is creamy, it's filling. I cooked it. Polenta is very easy to cook. You put one cup of dry polenta and three cups of water. What I like to do in the water, I like to boil the water first in a pan like this one. And I like to add some spices like oregano or an Italian mix with different spices and like a tablespoon or two. And once the water is boiling, what you do is you add one cup of dry polenta and you add it a little bit at a time and you stir it so that you don't get lumps. And it takes about 15, 20 minutes for the polenta to cook in low heat and you have to stir it often. And then you end up with something like this. Okay, very, very delicious. So what do I do? Well, I put um, polenta in a bowl and then on top of the polenta, I put this delicious, uh, kind of like a spaghetti sauce here. And I'll show you. So I'm going to turn off the heat in the polenta because it's already done. Using a bowl like this, I put the um, polenta on this bowl, and then I add the sauce on it, and I'm so I am eating tomatoes, which for men, well, for women too, it is a wonderful way to prevent prostate cancer. I'm eating greens with all of the wonderful benefits that greens have for cardiovascular health. And then if I want to, I can add maybe like half a cup of black beans, which I also cooked this morning and I'm going to have leftovers, of course, to eat beans and rice. I like to eat beans and zucchini for breakfast because I'm kind of tired of eating sweet breakfasts. Um, I don't usually enjoy uh, sweet stuff in the morning. I want savory. So that's it. I just wanted to make this short video to show you how Oh, I forgot one thing. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of tomato paste to add some depth to it. It just makes the tomato flavor stronger. Uh, many times I don't have tomato paste, so I don't even add it. But since I have it and it's already open, I'm adding that. And if I have a mushroom powder, that means um, dry mushrooms and that have been uh, ground and they're powdered, then I add that. I just add different things. So this is the sauce that could go on uh, some kind of whole wheat spaghetti. So I'm going to go ahead and, ma and make my bowl here. So here we go. Let's see if you can see. And again, as I'm making my bowl, I want to invite you to my upcoming seven day uh, detox and reset program. It works 
it works because we focus on, I focus on showing you how to make easy meals with just a few ingredients you can find anywhere. And it works because we have this wonderful group for support. And um, we spend a week together logging in twice a week in the morning and for dinner. And you're welcome to join me. It has a very, very, very affordable price, about 20 times cheaper than any other program you'll find out there. So here we go. I'm going to put some of this wonderful sauce, tomato sauce that contains greens. And since I have the beans right here that are already just freshly made, I am going to add just a little bit, like this is probably half a cup of black beans. And this is a starch centered meal right here with polenta, black beans, or it could be any kind of beans, and my delicious, healthy tomato sauce with greens. Sometimes I make it without the greens, but if I can include greens in anything during the day, I do it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me comments. Um, again, my website is plantemus.com, P-L-A-N-T-E-M-U-S.com, and you can look at the program I was mentioning. And um, I will go ahead and put a link later on in the comment area of this video. And finally, I will add some of the Benson's uh, Table Tasty uh, salt substitute to this. And uh, yeah. And if you wanted to add some uh, nutritional yeast, that would be great too. So now it's time to taste it. Oh my goodness sake. Mm. The creamy polenta with the sauce and the beans, it is heavenly. This will keep you full for a long time. High fiber, high protein with the beans, high nutritional values, low calories, low, low fat. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back soon with another simple, simple meal. Goodbye everyone.